up, guys? Back on Wednesday. What is that? So if it's a Wednesday, that means that it's uh, whatever Wednesday. And on whatever Wednesday, we do whatever. Whatever it can be. Now, I figured we would work on... No. We got to work on the Grom. We do need to work on the Grom. Uh, I got a new set of pro tapers for it. We're not working on the Grom today. We are going to work on the good old CF Moto 450 SS. Got a tail tidy kit off of Amazon, which is a cheap one. Severely cheap. I got to wire the tag light. So, not too big of a deal. It should be a quick video. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to have to go get the other tripod so I can do this. I got to find a good camera angle so y'all can see. But we're going to put this tail tidy kit on and get rid of this. I call it a mosquito looking butt. All right, this rear fender is ridiculous on this thing. I get that's what they want. But we got to get rid of it. We got to make this thing look right again. And it's been a while since you've seen the 450. Um, hadn't really been doing much with it, riding it. And I still have a whole LED light kit to put on it. That I really need to put on it. I just can't figure out where I want to put the switch and how to get to that section where I want to put the switch and get the wire to it. So, but anyway, we're gonna get on this tail tidy kit. I'm gonna go get the big tripod. Guys, keep watching. Let's let the fun begin. All right, guys. First things first. Take a five millimeter Allen key, whatever you got. I got these the other day to. Oh, put together a secret I still hadn't showed on this channel. Goodness gracious, I forgot all about it. Anyway, you're going to take these out so you can release this <clears throat> seat from out, from off of here. Once you get it off, about the style is this right here. All right, we're gonna put our seat over to the side. And we're gonna pop the back seat off. Key, lift up, off. Take your rider's handle, move it out of the way. There are five of these and some Phillip head screws that you're going to have to take out. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. Hold on. Alright, so you got one five mil here, Allen key. You got four Phillip head screws, two more down here. Then there's going to be more of these five millimeter screws right up underneath here up underneath your rear fairing those have to come off for this top piece to come off so let me sit you guys right here for a second we're gonna get in here and get these out and here's one right here and these are gonna be little small screws Side. All I'm going to do is set them on either side. This one here is pretty distinct. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see this. I don't even know. Uh, no. We got Daisy. You guys remember we got a new German Shepherd puppy 
she's getting huge. This one is obviously shaped different than the other ones. Oh, there we go. So, that one is going to remain there. Now that we grab a Phillips head screwdriver, we'll get these screws out. This top piece will come off and then we'll take, there's three 13 millimeter bolts actually holding the fender on. And then of course we got to get our wiring and stuff out of here. Uh, so we can, when that fender comes out, it'll be a heck of a lot easier dealing with it. This screw does not want to come out. It wants to stay too. So let's see what these do. Those come out. Honestly, this should be a pretty easy job getting this done. I am going to look at, while I've got this off, wiring the lights up, the LEDs. missed it. There's five screws up here. My bad. Oh, ow. No, we missed two. Two more five millimeters. <clears throat> Forgot about those two. Glad I seen those. But there's only two on each side here. And now this whole top piece should float right off. Unless I missed something else. Nope, there it goes. go. That's off. So now, oh, 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 come back here, screw. I'm going to set all that over to the side. We've got to get our wire harness out from here. And it is actually on a zip tie. Let me cut that tie off. I'm getting butt reminders that I'm touching the bike. So you guys know if you got the app installed on your phone how fun it is. Getting notifications every time you touch your bike. And I don't always ride this. Jacob rides it some too, so I'm always getting a notification on him. go. So here's our wire harness. Now this zip tie. Let's see if you guys can see that. Let me get you in a little bit closer. Alright so this is a removable zip tie. There's a little tab there you just push on and then we can float this whole wire harness up out of the way. We need all these wires right here. All right, guys, I had to cheat a little bit here. I grabbed a couple pair of pliers and I'm holding on to one side. I'm grabbing the flat edge. Just kind of giving a little twist and a pull, getting these out. Uh, they just, I guess where my bike's still so new, I mean it sits more than I ride it because I'm usually in my truck or my Mustang. And now, work-wise, I hardly ever 
will ride. Well, at least not for a while. It's work. Because I work so far away. Alright, so all that's unplugged. So we needed this mess of wires gone. This are your, these are your turn signals and your um, parking light. So now we can focus in on the bottom and getting these three 13 millimeter bolts out. There's really no way for me to give y'all a good shot of this, but they're legit. Three 13 millimeter, 13 millimeter bolts up underneath here. From what I can tell, this new kit's got new bolts and like spacers maybe. We'll look at it and see once we go to put this back together because we have to transfer these over to the other one. And I hear a ruby coming down the road. So we're about to get joined by Mr. Hunter. There's number two. We'll hold on to these bolts just to be on the safe side because we still have to tear all this apart too to get the turn signals out. And here we go. All right, and then this will pull straight out. There you go. Now, like I said, there are two five millimeter bolts here, here, and then there's three here and then two here that you got to take off. There are two on the tail to get all of this out of here. All right, guys, here's where the fun begins. We get to start tearing apart this other, the, the stock tail. Like I said, we got to get all these five mil screws out. And personally, this is kind of up to y'all what y'all want to do with this afterward. Me, I'll probably trash it like I did with the Grom because there's no point in keeping it because I don't need it because it will never go back on the bike unless Hunter over here wants it because he is here, guys. He is over to my right, like usual, offset. Scared of the camera. I ain't scared of the camera. That's your... That's your job. I don't have a clue what's going on. I don't know what's going on either. I thought you knew. I just take stuff apart. I mean, I can diagram something if you need something cut. Ooh, yeah, Anthony, you did say you're good with the diagrinder. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Could be a damn good thing. Yeah. Some cutting stuff. All right, so we got the screws out. Taken. Pop this crap apart. Oh no, those aren't in there like that. There it goes. Go from the back. Fillet it like a fish. Like a fish. Oh lord. Look, there's two more. Rookie. Rookie? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I am a rookie. This is ridiculous. Thanks, CF Moto. I guess they did not want this tampered with at all. Ooh. Those are tag screws. I can't believe those. Alright, one piece is gone. Now, the fun part is, is we're going to pull this tag light out because I think I'm going to wire these to this one. That way we can plug it up properly. So I'm going to have to cut it. And then we're going to get a pair of pliers here. Yeah, you can see it. Or a pair of adjustables. Pop this off. And then we can separate. But now keep in mind which ones are left which ones are right. That way when you go to put them back you hit your left turn signal, you're not hitting your right turn signal. Okay, 
that easy. Pull the wires out. Reach over here and get the adjustable wrenches. Toolbox to see if he's got something. Yeah, let me see him. Oh, well, look at that. A pair of channel locks got them loose. But I do like this, so make sure you get a smaller set of adjustables. out of the wire, pull it out of the fender, I'm going to set this one to the side for a second. So take, take your tail tidy kit, we obviously know this is going to be our left side so we're going to go in. And guys, I'm not going to kid you here. This one was legit bought for a four fifty SR. And it it like lock and grooves in, so it looks a little funky, but we're gonna set that like that. Take a flat washer first, slide it down, lock washer next. And then our nut or bolt, whatever you'll call it. We'll slide all those down the wire. And once again, like I said, it, it locks and grooves in and when you look at this, it's probably going to look a little funky at first. But I think, honestly, the angle of how it sits, this is going to sit like this, so that would be perfect. Your tag is going to be a little bit higher than what I want. So, the tag is going to be a little bit higher than what I want, but this is going to be perfect. So, we'll get this tightened up real quick. You run a tag on your box? Yeah, we're going to tag on my bike. According to the state of Tennessee, it don't have insurance on it. And I know it does. Because I just paid it. Thanks, Tennessee. Now we're going to re repeat that step again on the other side. Now we got it loose. And then when you go to put these back on the bike, as far as the wires are concerned, don't, don't worry about it. I know that sounds crazy. They're all color coded. They all match. So you don't have much to worry about. Just make sure you plug up the right one to the right one. Orange doesn't go with blue. <clears throat> so we're going to feed our wire back through. Blue goes with black though, right? Blue does go with black. Like, I think red goes with black, too. Do not do that, guys, really. Seriously. If you watch this channel long enough, you know we are goofy, smart asses to the extreme. I have seen it all. 
And you're starting to see some good stuff too. What was it on the Fox body? A cool fan wired. Oh man, what, how was it wired again? I forgot. Wasn't it just wire nutted together or something? Yes, it was. <laughs> Residential wire nuts wired together. In a car. In a car. Makes a lot of sense. Alright. Now we're going to get this one tight and then we'll test fit it on the bike real quick. Make sure everything looks good and then we'll address our tag light. So these wires are going to end up getting tucked up in here. Up into this groove. We're going to fold them out of the way. And voila, our tail tidy kit is about 90% done. And now we're ready to get going and put this thing back in and see how we like our angles. So, now the fun part, we get to chase wires back up through the hole. <clears throat> you can see what I did, I just figured out what wire went where. And made my own wire harness for the tag light. And now we gotta test it, but we're gonna get these wires back up in here. And then look and see how this bolts up to it. So, go back to I'm just going to do this finger loose so we can get them all in because we are missing a lot more. Sure. Go figure, right? Oh, there it is, right there. We're going to rock it like that. We are going to rock this tag, the uh, finger tidy kit, just like this, guys. Rubbing on the wheel. Rubbing on the back tar. Back tar. Back tar. We do live in Tennessee. Tennessee. Not in Georgia no more. Not in Georgia no more, Petey. said before what did we say? green ground well I'm gonna hook it up to the bike oh, oh, that's more simple yeah. so, once again your wires are color-coded 
we just got to get in our mess of wires here. Find the wire that corresponds with the wire. So here's our orange. Now, if we're successful here, we got left turn signal on. Left turn signal is working. Right turn signal is working. Tag light is working. Tag light is brake light. Well, light don't have anything to do with it, but that is one successful Teltati replacement. Yeah. Hit the hazards. I think it's right there at your left thumb, or right thumb. Yep, there we go. Everything works. Woo so now we're going to tape up that one wire. Kind of reverse our steps backwards here. Uh, because we got a little bit of a test subject here. It worked out. I like that tag light a lot better. So we're going to take these off real good and then tape them together so they don't move around too much we'll get all this shoved back into the uh, the little boot and pull the zip tie back over it so give us just a minute we'll show you that and then we'll put the rest of the fairing back together all right guys so everything is done <laughs> wiring is pushed back into where it's supposed to go double check make double sure check works. yeah i'm the yep, tag lights working Hazards work, hit the left and right, left, right, beautiful. guys so Zen tell tight kid it's in looking good got to throw my tag on there we'll be wrapped up we can go and from what you've seen at the beginning to now it's much much better no more mosquito ass is what I've been calling it felt like I was riding a damn mosquito every time I got on it and when I back up to the, the wall here I won't have to worry about putting a hole in the drywall every time I back up to it or bang it into a cliff every time I come into the garage and back up. So, that being said, guys, we hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like button, share, subscribe, do all the good stuff for us. Please, please share the videos, get them out there. Try to do this as, as in, depth. In, de uh, in depth as I could. I mean, I started off as just me. If he would have been here, we probably could have got more close up footage, you know, doing it one handed. So I used the old trusty rusty tripod for the podcast set. So we tried it. That being said, we love you. And as always, remember, guys, dream big. We'll see you next time for a shop special. We got some goodies. Oh, oh, and we got to finish up another video. Ruby Thursday.